Hey guys, um, I just wanted to have a talk with you, um, just about my diseases in general, or, you know, what I go through in general, um, you know, it's just frustrating and hard to go day by day when you have, um, diseases and illnesses and stuff, and, you know, like, the diseases I have, people call them, you know, invisible diseases because people don't see them on the outside. Um, but I definitely do feel them on the inside. And, you know, like, the crazy thing is people don't see what I go through. Um, they don't see, you know, the times where, you know, I have to have my 12 year old daughter help me put my socks and shoes on or um, if I drop something on the floor to have to pick it up they don't see how at times I put one of my dining room chairs in the kitchen for when I cook just because I need to sit down in between cooking a meal um, they don't see the times where I get frustrated that I can't um, take a simple bath because it's hard to sit myself down into the bathtub, let alone get out. So I do shower most of the time because I can't physically sit down unless, you know, my fiance is home and he's willing to help me. Um, you know, he's always willing to help me, but be able to sit and to stand up out to get in and out of the tub. Um, <clears throat> people don't see that part. Um, and even the people who are making the decisions for my um, disability, they don't even see that part. Um, they don't see how, you know, there's days where after having an exhausting day of doing simple errands such as grocery shopping, going to pay a bill and etc. Um, how when I get home and I get ready to die down into bed and upon trying to lay down in the bed, um, my muscles start to spasm because I'm trying to get at a point of being relaxed and my muscles don't want to. Um, they don't see that part or when I cry myself to sleep because my muscles hurt so bad. Um, they don't, they don't see that part, um, you know, and getting into more, you know, and more in depth into it, you know, they don't see the times where, I have such excruciating stomach pain when I try to go to the bathroom because I've developed IBS from my diseases and from the medications that I'm on. They don't see that part where I'm literally in tears just trying to go to the bathroom. They don't see the part where I sit there and stretch out my arms trying to just wipe myself in the bathroom so I don't have to ask for help. Um, they don't see that part. They don't see how a lot of times I don't even do my hair because it hurts so bad to lift my arms up to my head to even do my hair. They don't see that part, you know? They don't see how, you know, I have to ask for help so much um, because I can't physically do something. Um, they don't see how right now, <clears throat> when I'm recording a video, I'm resting my hand on a table holding the camera because I can't sit there and constantly hold up the camera because it hurts so bad. They don't see that, you know, they don't, they don't see any of that, you know, and the crazy thing is upon having, you know, my diseases for years, you know, how people, specialists even tell me how it's so hard for people in their twenties to receive, um, disability benefits because of their age because you know people in their 20s are supposed to be their healthiest you know I've seen people younger than me dealing with issues like this and it's like it's not right you know it's not right at all you know and people don't see how you know like every every single day it's something you know people don't see that part how every day it's something you know they don't see you know how you know you're waking up and you're just before you even get out of bed you're just praying that your body doesn't hurt they don't see that part you know they don't see 
what your family sees on a daily basis you know what you know the tears the pain the frustration they don't see that they just see you at the moment you know and at the moment just because you don't want people to be sorry for you you put on a front of a smiling face and of being very optimistic because you don't want to have that woe is me you know attitude all the time you know because you're already dealing with your issues of your health already you know and it's crazy you know the, some of the first times when I first or you know around the time that I first found out that I was sick I was laying in bed and this was before we even moved to Green Bay <clears throat> how I couldn't get up out of bed I was crying so hard I was crying so bad and I had to have Mark help me get out of the bed and help me walk to the bathroom because I was in so much pain and I'm like, what the heck is going on? Why am I having so much pain? I'm like my body, my back especially, but my body was hurting so bad. And you know, I kept going through test upon test upon test to figure out what was wrong. And it took years for them to even diagnose me with, you know, fibromyalgia first, you know, chronic pain syndrome second, and traces of lupus in my blood third, you know took them years to find that out and it's just so frustrating you know to have to deal with this you know they don't see how you know you look forward like it's it's crazy to say this but people don't see like how much people like me who are in pain like me look forward to getting pain medication because you're you're keeping your fingers crossed in hopes that um that it's going to give you some type of relief like they don't see that part you know and you know they don't see this how you know every day these are just a couple of pills that i take but i have to take vitamin d because my vitamin d is so low and that causes pain in your body they don't see this pill here um that is for my fibromyalgia nerve pain that i have to take every day they don't see these these are just some average ibuprofens that i take um, two almost every like not every hour of the day but every couple of hours I take two to three for the pain until I get my pain medication um, but I took my stomach pill already I'm on a stomach pill because of the pains that I get at the top of my stomach um, and those are the pains that I get when I do try to use the bathroom or upon eating certain things I get a really bad stomach pain and I have to take a stomach pill every day but people don't see that, you know, people don't see how I just got off, you know, having to take steroids for almost a month um, to try because steroids are an inflammatory medication and my body gets inflamed and then that's what causes my pain. And they don't see that I have that I do that, you know, every couple of months. I damn near it's damn near every couple of months that I have to go on bouts of steroid to help, you know, with the pain. They don't see how since I've been dealing with the steroids for so long, how within eight months time I've gained over 100 pounds because of all the medications and stuff getting blown up from the steroids and things like that. They don't see that. Ha they don't they didn't see that happen. You know, they didn't see how this weight gain has caused me to have more pain because I have more weight on my bones and on my muscles. They don't see that. And it's so frustrating. It's so frustrating. And then to see like these pages talking about how, you know, fibromyalgia is a fake disease. And it's like, I wish you can feel how I feel for just one day. Just one day. I wish you can see how I feel. Like, just to get an understanding of it, you know? And it's just like, you know, like I've had people, even people in my own family, thinking that, you know, like, I'm just you know becoming this lazy person who's asking for help and all this and that and it's like that's the total complete opposite of what I go through it's the total opposite you know it's like they don't see how my last job let me go because I physically couldn't do the work they you know you could tell them all you want to but they didn't see that you know they don't see how I'm sitting here fighting years for a disability case that I'm praying that I win. They don't see that. You know, they don't see the agony I go through every day because I get so frustrated that I can't just go and work a typical job. 
you know they don't see that and it just makes me so frustrated it just makes me so frustrated you know because it's like you know who has to deal with this like who like how does this happen you know and I, I know nobody can answer that question for me but it's like how does it happen I never asked to be in pain and having to deal with this you know I never asked for it you know and that's why it makes me frustrated think people to think and to know that people just think like I'm faking it and stuff and it's just like god I don't know it just makes me it makes me want to cry you know but it's just like I wish people could just see what I'm going through you know like I wish people would just like I wish some people I do wish that some people could feel at least for a day what I go through just so that they can be like oh my god I completely understand what you're going through I'm you know I'm so sorry I wish you know I wish that there were some people who could actually feel the pain that I feel you know, like, people, people don't realize, you know, like, I think some, you know, like, yeah, I'm dealing with this pain and these diseases now, but I even think of how they'll affect my future, you know, like, will it get worse? Will I end up in a wheelchair or with a walker? Will I, you know, end up, you know, with bad arthritis to where it starts to make my hands stay in a fist or, you know, or even things as big as you know if I will be able to have any more kids I think about that all the time you know because like right now I know that I couldn't physically physically carry a baby I think it would be too painful you know and it's like yeah I know that there's other options out there adoption surrogate you know but it's like I don't know if I'll be able to even have any more kids you know and that's a thought that goes through my head and it's like It's like, you know, really, but you know, yeah, I'm, I'm faking it, you know, but it's like, you know, like people don't, you know, I think about that all the time, you know, there's times where I hurt so bad that I am so scared to go up and down the stairs just to go upstairs to my bedroom or come downstairs into the kitchen, like, because there's sometimes where my muscles are spazzing so bad, even moving my leg forward to take a step down will cause a spasm in my back. You know, I worry that, you know, when nobody's here, am I going to fall down the stairs? You know, and it's like, I have to think about that constantly. You know, there's times where I go just to do something as simple as opening up a refrigerator or picking up a bag off the couch or something, you know, and it'll cause me to have a spasm. I have to calculate everything I do. I have to calculate everything I do just to make sure that I won't hurt myself or fall and things like that. You know, the days that it's really icy, I try not to go out because I know if I fall, it will be really bad for me, you know? And it's like, you know, there was this one story from Master Wayne's YouTube. He uh, has a YouTube channel where, you know, he directed me to this video on YouTube about this lady talking about spoons. And, and it's like it, that, that type of theory is actually really smart to to um, think about because for a person like me you know on my on my bad days you know consider having one spoon per task that you can do um and on my bad day, my bad days I may have three four spoons and that's all I have for the day to try to get you know um one coming down the stairs you know making some food you know um taking a shower and then I have one spoon left to try to maybe get back up the stairs to get into my bed, you know, so I don't, you know, get stuck somewhere, you know. And it's like some days I may have 20 spoons. I'm still in pain, but, you know, it's better. I may have 20 spoons to get through my day. But it's like I just wish people could see and feel what I go through on a daily basis just to for people to get a better understanding because it gets so frustrating and like even right now having this cold on top of my diseases it's like my body feels you know a, a, just a, a regular healthy person with a typical cold my body probably feels 50 times worse than that because the aches and pains of the cold are on top of the aches and pains 
from my diseases you know I get pleurisy all the time which is a infection you get around the lining of your lungs <clears throat> and it causes your muscles around your lungs to get inflamed so it hurts when you breathe imagine having that and coughing which coughing comes from your lungs you know imagine having that on top of that like that is what I deal with, you know, and it's like on top of, you know, on top of the pleurisy, for example, with a cough, I also get muscle spasms in my back, you know, imagine trying to deal with that also with the pain of your back. It's, it gets so excruciating, you know, and it's like, that's what I have to deal with, you know, I don't know. I just, I just had to vent to you guys. Um... But I, I hope this gives some people a better understanding and for those of you who feel that, you know, they're invisible diseases, that they're fake diseases, they're 100% real. Like, 100% fucking real. Like, do your research. It is real. People deal with it every day and I'm one of them. Um, share this video. Um, I would love to bring awareness to people who have diseases like me um please share please don't hesitate to ask questions or talk to others about it um because it's helping me just to be able to vent this to you guys and i really appreciate you listening to my rant and um have a blessed day guys and i'll see you in the next video